Hello, this is Alex from VP Estate and this is the last video in the How to Work with Child Team series. Today we'll discuss about how we can work with JavaScript files in a child team. But before that, give us a like or subscribe to our channel. Working with JavaScript files in a WordPress child team is not complicated. However, you need to know the proper way to do it. Here is uh, the way I do it. First of all, you need a new child team file for your JavaScript code. I created uh, this folder child.js in the child team in the child team and inside I have this file control child.js. As you can see, the file is empty at this moment and uh, we need to embed it into the child team. And you do that by changing the functions PHP. And here you're using something like this uh, line of code. And uh, hit save. And let's just put some notification here. And refresh. Okay, so now we see that the, uh, our child team JS file is loaded in. Let's uh, do some custom action for, let's say, this button that uh, triggered the login register modal window. So by default, it worked like this. And let's say we don't want to show the modal window, but show a custom message. So what we need to do at this point is to unbind the JavaScript action for this uh, item. I think this is a, a div called the submit action. So we need to unbind that click and then bind another action. And uh, how are we going to do that? First of all, uh, let's modify the JavaScript file. So the code should look something like this. And uh, we click submit action class, the uh, div that has this class will trigger a new uh, alert called new action. Let's test. Okay. So you will see that once we click this button, a new alert is triggered, the one from the child team, and the original login model is also displayed. So what we need to do now is just unbind the uh, action that shows this login form for, from this div. So the code should look like, and I will just remove this. So, so now when we press the button, we have new action, but we still see the uh, login model. What is happening? Well, the thing is, the first file that is loaded is the control child GS. After that, the control GS, the original file is loaded. And let me show you that. So we have this notification and we put here Another notification. And when we test, we see that the first is loaded the child team GS, then the original file GS. This piece of code, the unbind, will not work for the original action because it's loaded before before it. So what we need to take care of is make the control child GS to be loaded by WordPress after control GS. And how do we achieve that? It's simple. If you go to WordPress documentation and study this instruction, you will see that this parameter, it's called a dependency array and uh, looks like this. And uh, it means that WordPress will load this file 
only after the files listed in this array, in this case control, and we are using the handlers, not the actually file name. And again, WordPress will load this file only after the file lists in this array are loaded. So if you click save, you see that we have the first original file, then the child team GS, and after when this file is loaded, the action that triggered the login model will be unbinded. So the login model will not appear, but will our custom message will appear. So new action, and that's it. The custom message is not here anymore. And if you want to test more, for example, let's um, comment these instructions. This one. If you go to this code, you'll see that now the unbind, it's not uh, the unbind uh, line, it's not working anymore, it's commented. So we'll uh, load the new action alert, but also the original model file. Refresh. And now when we click, we have the new action, but also the login model. And let's just leave the and then click action again. When you click the button, we'll have only our custom code. And again, this technique, it's very simple. You just need to load the new uh, JavaScript file from the child team. And in the dependency array, list the uh, files where your overwritten action are. In this case, was the uh, action for the model was in control GS file, so I took the handler and put it there and uh, listed here. And this is the simplest technique, and it's pretty straightforward. And you don't have to change the original team files and uh, lose all your changes when you update and create a small nightmare for your clients. Okay, so this is the end on how to work with a child team video series. I hope I cover all the aspects. In case I don't or you have additional questions, just post a comment and I'll try to do another video tutorial. Don't forget to like this video or subscribe to our channel. Thank you.